if I was in a really tight match and I'd, I'd win a game and then lose a the game, the, the two favorites I had was, um, no, it wasn't bad. It was, uh, it was like when I'd win a game, I would say something like, I would say, I would say, welcome to Loserville, population you. That was my, that was my favorite, um, that was my favorite line back when I was younger. And it's funny because, like, compared to what people are saying on the internet these days, like, that's so tame and mild. Play G4, no one's gonna play the grob. Yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna see the Madrid Knights. Why did I take a picture when he asked? He was he's kind of working. It's like it's not really a good thing to do. Don't forget, people have a job. Like, imagine his boss is gonna be like, he's gonna get fired or something. I'm not gonna be responsible for that. Let's go C4 here. Let's play the uh this is almost like vampire fangs here. Let's go G5. Let's go D3, guard the pawn. A3 is actually winning the material here. Okay, let's go H3, trap tonight on G4. Um, Tilted Tuesday was earlier, you guys. Give the kid a sub. If I see him in chat, I will. But the thing is, now that I said everyone's going to be like, I worked at Publix yesterday. I saw you at Publix yesterday. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. So, um, no. No, no, sir. Let's go Knight C3 here. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. It was me. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to 18, 19, 3. It was not, in fact, me. Yeah. Good night, G3 here. All right, let's take the pawn here. All right, let's play a3 here. Um, go e4, probably rook c1. Do I see chat as, as a single entity or individuals? Um, That's a good question. I mean, I think it's a mix. Um, But I have to say, the reason yesterday was also kind of amazing is because I think it was the only time, or maybe second time, that someone has someone has recognized me in public and they they're actually someone from Twitch who's watch who watches the stream. Like every other time, like the 10 plus times, it's always been people who watch on YouTube. So that's also why it was, it was really, really cool. Good night at five here. Just got to the stream, saw Hikaru last night at Publix. <laughs> right, good one, good one. Um, I guess take and go over C1. The ELO goal is, of course, 3,000, like always. It's going to get really tricky as, as we get closer, though. Could we see the Evans Gambit of the candidates? Maybe. It was me, Hikar. I was wearing the yellow shirt. Sorry, but the guy wasn't wearing a yellow shirt. Um, come again. I wore a black shirt. It was me, the blue shirt guy. Right, exactly. Now you're going to say, like, what, what are the colors? Blue, black, green, yellow, red, orange, white, purple, fuchsia. Like, I don't know, too many colors. Brown? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, all right. All right. Oh, it's my... No, it's not my move. It's my opponent's move. Do you think chat... You're, do you think you're slowing down because chat is lowering your IQ? No, I don't think that has anything to do with it. No, it's just actually, what do you mean by slowing down? Do you mean like in bullet and blitz, like when I spaz for 30 seconds? Is that what you mean? Is that what you, is that what you mean by slowing down? Or do you mean like the individual moves? What, what, do, what do you mean by slowing down? Oh, do you mean slowing down by moves? No, that is a hundred percent a product of, of becoming a little bit older and just like the brain, my, you know, the processor is a little bit slower than it used to be. And that has nothing to do with Twitch. Cause I'll give you a perfect example. The, the five five time world chess champion Vishyanon, like I I've only known him in probably for the last like decade, decade and a half. And he's always been someone who, who who can move fast, but generally he doesn't move all that fast. 
Whereas when I talk to a lot of people like my stepfather and people from the front who were around like 25, 30 years ago, all they say is they're like, Vichy was like, he was like this lightning kid. He would use like 30 minutes on the entire game. He would move instantly. So uh, it just happens as you get a little bit older. So obviously I'm not gonna play the Karo Khan, right? Or, but no, if I play D5, then I might have to get 500 subs. So let's go Knight A6 and keep playing the Yasser Karo Khan with Knight A6. Oh, my stepfather is watching. Yeah, he's he's one of, he's one of those people. There are, there are a lot of people who um, a lot of people who I know who I've spoken to, and they're just like they they they, they all say the same thing. They're like Vichy when he was like nine, 18, 19, 20, he was just like he was really really fast, like really fast. He would just blow people off the board and not use any time at all. Yeah, good bishop d six trades and pieces. Have you heard the saying think long think wrong yes in fact i've actually made it a point to try and not think for too long when i play chess these days what is my iq it's a 102 so it's it's okay it's nothing special but uh it's what it is you legit are one of the most interactive streamers even though you have so high viewers so thank you appreciate it yeah these games are rated but the points will be refunded yes one 102 is is that average or above average i don't know I think endoplasmic for 345 bits. Okay, G4 is a good move, but I am also attacking on the queen side. We're both trying to attack opposite sides. That oh, it's below average. Okay, well I capture tort away from the center because now I open a file for the rook on F8. 102. He must be trolling. No, it's 102. You guys, I took the same test XQC did. I got 102 and he got 109. So just how it goes um let's go b4 here and take go king h8 i want to go knight b5 but he had a rookie six tactic so i dodged it let's go here knight d4 you know mendiad for the gifted sub thanks so much to mendiad appreciate it all right what does he do he played h4 let's go knight d4 you can literally score for an IQ test and score very high, but isn't that like, I don't know, like uh, studying for a chess game rather than showing up and just playing and showing your true skill? Uh, let's go knight takes b3 here, maybe knight d4 back. Um, let's see, I go knight d4 and keep rolling. Let's go knight d4, maybe h6, g6 here. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> isn't that what pros do, though? Of course, I was obviously making a joke. I was making the classic joke that basically why does why, why don't pro players just show up and play the game rather than just becoming theory monkeys and using computer engines all day long um so yeah all right um anyway let's see so rook g1 i'll play e5 here i'm gonna go here target the knight target the pawn go check check and mate trusting that online IQ test is like taking a driver's license test in Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Keep rolling along. Um, I'm obviously not going to play the Scandinavian, right? Or do I want to play... Let's play the Bank, the Bo Enki Gambit. Or no, this is going to turn to Icelandic Gambit after takes. Yeah, this is Icelandic Gambit. I think it's Scooches for the two months. Obviously, I'm not going to play the, the uh, Icelandic Gambit. I mean, I love Iceland. The one time I went to Reykjavik, it was a lot of fun. Um... Uh, but I just, I don't see myself playing it in the candidates. So, yeah. Do I consider Magnus slow? What do you mean slow? He's a genius, obviously. And, I mean, in, in some ways. I do hope Magnus doesn't actually try to play, play more poker, though. Because he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna run into, like, this rut where he's gonna realize pretty quickly it's just not that much fun. John Bartholomew is your second confirmed um i mean i could be working with john i mean i john john's a great guy i have a lot of respect for him Good night 4 here i'm down a pawn in trouble whoa they had a bornic chest for the raid with 120 thank you so much a bornic chest appreciate it thank you all right thank you what do you mean poker is bad poker's poker would be fun i refuse to believe you a 102 iq i don't know you guys i took the test it said i have 102 I don't really care if I have 102, I have 120, or I have 85. I mean, who cares? Those are just numbers. 
uh there there are what eleven thousand people watching so that's much much more important than whatever arbitrary random number um we have for iq who cares it should be a five it should be six <laughs> copium is just numbers yeah it's just like it's just like playing blitz shots it's just a number nobody cares it could be 3250 it could be 3125 did I talk trash about John after an OTB game? You know what's weird is I've never played, I've never played John Bartholomew over the board. It's crazy. I never played him over the board ever. By the way, I blundered, but this guy's good. He spots the tactic. I never played him over the board as far as I can recall. I don't think I even played him blitz. I never played him. It's crazy because we're roughly the same generation. Yeah, I, I never played him. It's it's insane. Okay, this guy's playing pretty well. Oh, I, for a second I was like, oh man, is 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 this guy smurfing or something? Something off? Then he, he hangs the rook. That's so sad. He he plays rook d two. He wins the game. He had a badger lock for the three months. Um, I guess I just take because the rook covers the square. Controversy with John from YouTube? Bartholomew? I, I, I actually have no idea what you're talking about, honestly. Oh, he said something about me on YouTube? Okay, fair enough. I mean, I'm unfamiliar with it, but whatever. Really? Ah, I had no idea. He said he drew me. We never played over the board though. It, it might be it might be an online game. It might be an online game. I wouldn't be shocked if I got mad at oh, and he got some like swindle draw. Let's play the French, because of course I'm never gonna play the French in the candidates. Um Yeah, I mean that that's I, I noticed there's like been a lot of drama about people like being toxic on the internet lately and like games and things and just it's insane what it's gotten to. Um, I guess I'll play C5 here. I think it's a cathartic art for the prime. I guess I'll play uh, takes 97, 96. It's actually kind of like a real opening, so I'd be careful. You only hear stories about Alham? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Have I seen XVC's tweet about the situation? I mean, I saw it, but it just, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. I need a Varun Kulkarni for the six months to go here. Oh yeah, someone else could play the French, so maybe, but I think it's, I'm doing it if I play the opening, but I'm close to Pineapple Loafers. Am I, what are we up to? We're up to like 6,600, right? Now we still have 1,300 subs to go to get to the Pineapple Loafers. Go Bishop D7 here. Take the, take here and take here. I guess I'll go bishop d6 and queen c7 or queen h4. Everyone has been toxic to agree when they were younger. Well, it's kind of crazy what's apparently okay compared to like compared to chess. Because I mean, I, I I was actually thinking about this the other day. Like my, my favorite my favorite insult back when I was younger. I, I remember this quite well. It was besides just the classic cursing. Uh, was uh my my fa my, fa my my favorite two lines were um. Were like if I, if I was in a really tight match and I'd, I'd win a game and then lose a game. The the two favorites I had was um, no, it wasn't Ben. It was uh, it was like when I'd win a game, I would say something like I would say I would say Welcome to Loserville, Population U. That was my that was my favorite um that was my favorite line back when I was younger. And it's funny because like compared to what people are saying on the internet these days, like that's so tame and mild. Uh, I'm gonna play a6 here and attack the bishop. Yeah, that was my favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> That was my that was my favorite one. And like compared to what people do these days, it's like it's crazy. It's crazy. So toxic, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, welcome I I think yeah, it was it was like welcome to Loserville, population you. That 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 was that was one of my favorite insults. I'm gonna take and go check check and mate. Yeah. Yeah. Go D4. When you win the candidates, I will. Uh, should I say that? No, of course not. I'm, I'm past that phase, but yeah. 
That insult is taking a bit too far. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, okay, let's play uh, Let's play B4, play more orangutan. Uh, Dallas Destiny Seattle Sluggers 2009, you played against John. Pro Chess League? I mean, that sounds right, but I don't remember that game for the life of me. I'm going to go A3 here. Yeah. I guess I'll go D3, Knight, D2, Knight, F3. Indian youngsters are doing very, very well. Arjun, Aragaz, and Prague recently won their tournament. Um, yeah, the Indian juniors, I've said before, one of them is going to break through. I don't know which one it's going to be. My, my money right now would be on Arjun, but all of them have crazy potential to become really good. They all have crazy potential. Uh, what was the context of Magnus having a card tell you hit one on I ICC profile? That's me being a junkie and wanting more. Just it's like if a it game ends, it's like wanting another game. It's kind of like actually similar to now. I mean, I, I don't do it obviously, but it's like when you when you're when I'm not doing great in a match, I'm up like three one. It's like I just want the next game to start right away. You just want that next game. You need that like you need your fix. It, it's kind of along those lines, and you would hit one to get your next bullet game. So it's like hit one so you can keep keep the uh, keep the flow going with the next game. Save with a pawn here. I annotated my game against John on my blog. I have a link. I don't even remember that game. I played John on the Pro Chess League. You said it was a draw. Oh, was it was it the game where he played? Was he white and it was that English where he played Queen D4, Queen H4? What was that? Was it? Was I, did I do the double fian, fianchito with Black? And he played. He played. Um, it was like the English. Was it an English opening where he went like C4, D4, Queen D4, Queen H4? Let's see. Where's the game? This is just my. This is just the old website. Where's the game? Where's the game? Someone just. <laughs> of course, uh, of course. I never forget. Obviously, I never forget. Um, I never forget. See, it's a double fianchito. Bishop b7. Bishop g7. Exactly. Yep. And and he plays queen d2. He didn't play queen d2, right? Or he did? Okay. But yeah. See, I, I mean, of course, obviously. Okay. Let's get back to the chess. Okay. It took me. It took me a second to remember it. But yeah. There we go. Let's take the bishop here. Yeah. Sorry, wrong scene, by the way. Uh, thank you to Cody Huddleston for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go rook d1 here. Yeah. Yeah, it, it took me a second to remember. It took me a second. Yeah, it took me a second. Are you allowed to draw arrows over the board? No, my opponent's playing pretty well so far. For, for, uh, for an 839, he's doing very well. I mean, if he plays like this in all of his games, he's going to be a true member of uh, Winterville soon enough. All right, let's go rookie one. I can just take, take, take with the pawn. Um, this is all pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Winterville. He's going to be, a, he's going to be a member of Winterville. Let's take with the bishop here. All right, I guess I'll take the knight and play rook d7 here. Play rook d1 next move, maybe g3. All pretty good. Yeah. Who do I think doesn't... What, who do you think doesn't care the most out of the candidates? Um, I don't really know. It's it's hard to judge. It could be me. It could be uh, Timor. I mean, it's very hard to judge. It, it's very hard to judge, but I would say objectively it's between Timor and myself. Go B5. Ikari, you should start positive trash talk. You're, you're so fudging great player. Good job. I can't really do trash talk, though. It's just, I can't do it in, like that. It's just, I'm not Eric Rosen. I mean, I just don't know how to do it. I have been to Toronto. Yes, I've been to Toronto before. All right, let's go check. Maybe Rook B7 next move. Just take, go bishop d3, put pressure on the knight, pressure on the pawn at e5. Um, take the juicer, play rook d6, and, and hit the pawn on g6. Oops, one second. 
Um, uh, let's go G6 here. I'm obviously not going to play G6 on move one, you guys. Um, let's go Bishop G7 here. What do I want to play here? Am I going to play Knight F6 here? Because this could definitely happen in a game. Do I have any other openings up my sleeve here? Um, I guess I'll play I'll play B6 here. I'll, I'll play a double C on Cheeto. Bishop B7 next move. Let's go here. Double C on Cheeto. Let's go e6, d6, knight e7, knight e7. I guess I'll play d6, takes knight e7, knight e7, and go from there. Be careful you're playing against Brandon Jacobson. Uh, no, this is Brandon Jones. Brandon Jones. Uh, not Brandon Jacobson, but thank you. Let's go knight e7 here. This is a free juicer. Let's just keep taking. When is Tilted Tuesday? It's at 5 p.m. Eastern. I mean, I'm probably going to... I need to take care of a couple things, so I'll probably stream for like another 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and I'll probably end and come back, and we'll... we'll um, we will... Uh, we'll, we'll play in Tilted Tuesday. Is the speedrun just you showing your prep? Yeah, or not my prep, depending how you want to clarify it, how, how you want to view it. Let's go E... F oh, he took it the bishop. I thought he took it the pawn. What am I doing? Okay, now it gets interesting, at least. Let's just trade the bishops and go f6 here. I can't use the hippo and the candidates. If I need to use, I'm going to give you guys a true, honest statement. If I need to play the hippo and I'm in a must win situation with the black piece and the candidates, something has gone very wrong uh, with the tournament. So that's just what I will say. Okay, let's go knight h4 to hit the pawn on f3 here. Take the pawn on f3, maybe king f7, king e6. Are you allowed to bop your head in the cannons? Yes, you definitely are, you guys. I mean, it can be a little bit distracting, but um, but yeah, of course you can. Go here, maybe knight h4, knight f5. I mean, we saw Pragnanata playing over the board, bopping his head. So yeah, absolutely. Would you? Would another candidate make you force one of these openings to make you spend dollars, dollars? Sure. I mean, if they if they want to play the opening and they want to lose, hey, by all means, absolutely. Bordnik's on a bullet speed run. He's up to thirty three, thirty four. Nice. Let's take the juicer. Are you allowed to listen to music during a match? No, that you are not allowed to do, actually. You're, you're not allowed to do that. Are you going to talk to chat during the candidates? What do you mean by talk to chat? You mean, like, be on my channel? Or you mean, like, you expect me to stream live from the playing hall during my game? Um, I mean, there there is a slight distinction between the two. Mate, let's keep going. Can I use sign language? No, I never learned sign language. My mother did. Of course, I'm going to play E4 because it's a very... Uh, okay, he plays a Scandinavian. Now, what do I do here? Hmm. Can I play a hillbilly? I'm going to try to play a hillbilly here. Queen H5, Bishop C4. Play the hillbilly gambit if I can. Yeah, let's go for the hillbilly gambit. Good D3. Hit the knight. I've got knight C3 here. Uh, Bishop G4 is a very good move. Let's take the juicer on B7. Take the pawn on C6 here.
Can you hum slash sing while it's your turn OTB came? No, you can't. I mean, if it's in your head, of course you can. Like, I, I told you guys before, it was um, during the uh, tournament in Berlin, there was a really funny moment when I was playing against Richard Rapport in the first game. There was an anti-COVID protest uh, in the main center in Berlin. And so because there was an anti-COVID protest, they were like beating on drums. There was a lot of noise. And when that was happening, I actually, I said this before, I was thinking about this, um, I was thinking about a song during the game. This song called ba ba Badgero or Balagero. It's a from this Indian movie with like there's this great three minute dance dance and music theme. Um, and during the game against Richard, I actually it, when I started hearing the music outside, I kind of wanted to get up and start dancing on the table to that song because it was just playing in my head nonstop. Um, so I'm just gonna take yeah Badgero Mastani right. So basically, I actually during that like window of like 15 minutes. I just wanted to get up and start start like dancing on the table. Um, of course, I wasn't, but the song was just playing in my head. So I'm going to go Knight F3, because of course, I never will play this in a real tournament. Let's go H4, H5. Let's go H5 here. This is called the uh, ready opening Kingside Fianchito variation. So that was one. And then when I played against Gregorio Parin um, in, the, in the final Grand Prix, there was a period of time um, where I moved my Rook. My Rook went like H1 to H2. Or I think to D4, then to like D2, D3, B3. And it kind of reminded me of a helicopter. And so there's this classic Gary Kasparov video where um where Gary's trying to speak in Russia and there's a little thingy flying in the flying overhead in the room and um and they had the music called Helicopter Helicopter playing. And so that was actually playing in my head during the um during the game against Oparin. Oh no, that video. Yes, that video. Yeah. Is the song's name Malhari from Badgero? I think it is. Yeah. Let's go here on Bishop G5. Uh, let's just go Bishop G5. Put pressure on the diagonal here. Helicopter, helicopter. Yeah. All right. Let's just go E4 here. And maybe just takes. Maybe Knight D4. Yeah, someone, someone's going to put it. Is it this video? Oh, no, it's this one. Yeah, all right, let's get back to the chess. Anyway, that was the that was the song that was playing in my head when I was playing against against Richard Poor. That was a song. Yeah. Yeah, Indians in chat. Yeah, exactly. But again, anyway. Let's get back to the game. Uh, let's take the pawn. Why pause? Because I realized like if, if I have that song playing, it might we might have a problem. Oh no, we we might have a yeah, we probably have a problem with uh certain issues, so yeah. But yeah. But anyway, so the point is when I was playing as Rapport and I heard the drums and everything outside the playing hall, I wanted to just get up and start dancing. And, and that song was just playing in my head, basically. Um, so, so yeah, that's, yeah that, that's, that's what it was. Twenty eight hundred GM dancing in the middle of the chess game. Exactly. Yeah, you guys totally. Will Benjamin cover the candidates? Um, I have. Oh, there's just checkmate. Very nice. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We're working on the. We're working on the teams that will cover it. Of course, I'm not going to play E four in the candidates. We all know that. Uh, I'm going to play Queen H five. This is called the wayward Queen attack or an attempt at the four move checkmate. Um, surely my opponent's not going to fall for it. Oh, it plays Queen F six. Can I cut off all of my hair for the candidates like Nepo? I would gladly do that if there's something where like I could um I could do it where it's like I don't know, it goes to like one of those cancer societies or I know I know like I feel like Johnny Damon and some baseball players they did that where like they, they got all their hair cut off for uh, it was for uh, for one of like the cancer societies or cancer foundations. I I would totally do that for sure if that was if that was something. Don't it's gonna grow back, you guys. Uh hair for hope is that I don't know what, what which ones there are, but yeah. Go bishop g5. Locks of love, okay. 
Thank you so much to Sagey Mage for the five months. Thank you so much to Sage Mage. It's called Locks of Love and it must be 10 inches long. I mean, I feel like my hair, I mean, right now it's not super thick, but in another, another month or so, it'll be pretty good. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so far today, you've said no D4 now, no E4, it's Knight F3. Well, uh, it's more than just the first move, you guys. It's not about the first move. It's about the opening that results in the, in the two to three moves after that. Okay. Go Knight D2 here. All right, I'm going to go eight. Oh, I meant to go H4, not G4, but whatever. When I win the candidates, you should cosplay as Magnus against him. Right. All right, I guess I'll just play H3 and take the bishop here. What if Chris Rock will see me bald? Uh, I'm not going to go there, you guys. I'm not going there. Nice try. Play queen h3 and hit the pawn on h7. Is Rouge in the candidates? Yes, he is playing the candidates, indeed. Let's just eat the juicer. I have rook h5 next move. Should be very good here. <laughs> just slap him. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. <laughs> 